Hello, everybody, and welcome to day two of RPG a Day 2020. No, 2020. How does it sound better? 2020 or 2029? I guess it's... There's always the urge to call it 2020, but I digress. Um, the topic for today is change. Um, and, and I'll piggyback on, on my um, entry for day one. Um, change is inevitable. Change happens all the time. It'll happen in your campaign, uh, whether you plan for it or not. If you're a game master, your players will change what you plan. If you're a player, the character concept you had in your head will change as you play. It, it's ha it happens. Um, this year has just been a lot of lots of extra change because of the pandemic. I won't rehash what I said yesterday. But Puerto Rico has had a whole slew of other, of other challenges from earthquakes uh, since the beginning of the year. Uh, to the ongoing recovery from uh, the hurricane three years ago, to a recent storm that happened uh, the past this this past week, we had a storm come very close to the island and cause immense floods. So we're we're living through the challenges uh, and the changes that brings forth. We changed our game, my weekly game, from face to face to online. That's brought a whole other set of challenges that have changed how we play. Um, Maintaining attention when you're playing online, it's hard. Even if I turn on my camera and I share videos and pictures and try the bells and whistles, but when you're not face-to-face, -face, there's a whole other set of distractions uh, that, that are there in the computer. So I recognize that and I engage that. I know people will stay connected for different reasons, so I don't fight it. I recognize it. Also, change uh, comes from a player leaving your campaign. I had a player step out of the campaign, uh, and I miss her. It's, it's, it's changed. She has her reasons. I understand them. Uh, uh, but you adapt. It's my story, her story, the campaign, the story we're telling. It changes. And change is good. I think change is good, ultimately. You, uh, as a storyteller, as a game master, from my perspective, uh, when a new player joins or player exits the stage or... or character dies and player makes up a new character, you have to change the narrative. You have to change the story. And it's useful to um, roll with the punches, think in your feed, and accept that and change the story. Sometimes the campaign will change inevitably. Um, my current campaign ran from 2016 to 2017, took a break, and we've retaken it three years later. Um, We've been lucky enough that most of the players picked up and continued. Some are not with us uh, physically. They're not, not, that sounds awful. They're not dead. They're just not playing the game. Um, and some threads just are lost or, or you can intertwine them or, or share them with other players. But don't uh, be so obsessed with the story you wanted to tell. It's the player's story. Change with it. Make sure they have fun and adapt with it. I've, I've adapted. I'm still trying to adapt, and um, I'll probably talk a little bit more about playing online and the challenges it, it brings, from my perspective, as a newbie for, for, for that style of gaming, through these um, 30 days, 31 days of RPG a day, 2020. That's my new and change, and my contribution for day two. Again, I encourage all of you to participate, whether it's writing, recording, posting, uh, shouting, whatever you want to do to celebrate RPG a day, 2020. Um, thank you for listening. I look forward to your comments or your suggestions, and have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.